What's happening, donk heads? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to show you how to make donk music. Um, thanks for everyone who's subscribed to me already. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, then please uh, subscribe. It, it would help me a lot. Right? I'm going to start with my kick. Obviously, if you watched my last video, um, I told you that I made this myself on kick too. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go over it today. Because it might take too long. I haven't got long really to show you. So, and we on the kick as well, which is just, which is shows you on the last video. Cut to thirty. Drastically cut the high end to three hundred, and then lowered it a little bit more. Because the kick too, it's good, but it it lacks low end. So that's why I do that. I've created all my buses already to save time. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, how to create a bus, there's loads of videos on YouTube you can look at. Um, so, yeah, I'll start with the kick. I'll put it down here. I've already made a pattern in the piano roll. Which sounds like this. I always start down here because up here I like to put all my effects and stuff like that. This is going to be the very start of the track. So, you can name this. Kick drum. We can give it the same colour I have on there. Just to make it nice and neat. Now, the next one will be the clap. I've got two layers of claps. I've got one with the tail on and one that's a bit shorter. They sound like this when they're together. They don't sound too good yet because I haven't put any EQ on it. So. And the other one, put another EQ on it. Low cut. Now, I like to take the top end off the second clap. Now, together. Yeah, I like that. Now, that's going to be too loud for me kick because me kick, like I said on my last video, I have it at minus 6 dB. Plenty of headroom then. So, he's lowering a little bit. Oh, and this one, you could probably just do with lowering down a bit more as well. Yeah, I like that. So, name this one, Clap. And you want it the same colour as what I have on there. Which is that one. See what that sounds like with the kick. So I like that. I've already got my samples loaded up, you see, because it, just to save a bit of time. But they're just basic samples. You can find them anywhere. My favourite packs to use is the Wave Alchemy uh, drum machines. You've got your 909s and your 808s, and you've got other drum machine samples as well. But they're very, very clean. 
if you want clean tracks use clean samples simple um right we'll go to the next one closed hi-hat right i've got it all routed to my drum bus all my drums apart from the kick i have that separated kick's always in mono as well right so bring this down let's see what this sounds like Just sounds crap at the minute, doesn't it? <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, I won't do that much. I'll do that size. That's better. Now, with a bit of side chain on it as well, what I'm going to do in, in a bit, it'll sound good. Right, so you could do it yourself, basically. You could, um, Drop this one down. Next one up. You could just copy and paste. Up and down, up and down. I'd say that. Like that. Now let's get an EQ on it. Again, Fab Filter Pro Q3 is the best one out there, I think. And a lot of other people think that too. See what that sounds like together. I have lowered the pitch a couple of tones, dropped it down two semitones to make room for the open hi hats, which I'm gonna do now. Uh, let's re let's rename this first. Um, Hat. And we want that the same colour. Right. That's going to my drum boss as well. Right, now for the open hat. What's that? Open hat. I use a 909 hat from the Wave Alchemy pack I was telling it about before. Very clean sample. Rooted to the drum bus again. Another EQ. <laughs> you could have, have a little bit of a high shelf just to brighten it up a bit. A little bit of gain, not much. Cut the little tail off, maybe, so it's not too high end. Right, that sounds good to me. There, too loud. If you drop it down, right, 
Now, I like to look at span at, at, at this point to level it out. Like I said in my last uh, video, I like to keep my low end and my high end as level as possible. So let's see what that sounds like now. As you can see there, the high end's a bit too loud. So if I had to guess, I would say it was the open hat. That's making it too loud, so let's hear it. Yeah, since I've took that off now, you can tell, so it's too loud. Bring it down a bit. Try that. That's a lot better. Um, right. So what I like to do now, on the drum bus, I like to add a compressor just to tighten the drums up together, just to gel them all together. Uh, long attack, fast release, 2.1 ratio. Right, uh, analog. It just gels all the all the samples together, I think. So. We look at uh, look at span again. Yeah, I like the look of that, and I like the sound of that too. Um, right, what else can we do? Shaker. This is just a shaker I've found in one of my sample packs somewhere. I like the sound of it. Um, right. I do these manually, so you could do something like that. And you just copy and paste. It is simple, most of it, like. Ah, uh, hold on, right. Right. That's the one. Up and down, up and down. I like that. For some reason, OBS crashed. I don't know why, um, but I'm back anyway. So, like I was saying, Here's me shaker. So pull it to the pattern, rename it shaker. Uh, I'm sure that's normal. So this is what it sounds like with the shaker. Oh, I've added um, a loop as well since then. Just randomly picked a loop from a vec, vengeance. So this is what they all sound like. Um, add a ride to that as well. Uh, let's 
kunnen we nemen als waard. This is just a standard waard from a 909 pack. Um, wave Alchemy, Sun Machines too. So, let's create one. Rad. I put it on the kit. So this is what it sounds like. Um, so we need to add a crash symbol. Um, I like to use one out my pack. Um, which is from Vengeance Club Sounds again. Number two. So we need to make one crash hold an alt to move it. Assign that to the drum bus. Bring it down. It'll be too loud otherwise. EQ again. EQ everything. Give it a pattern. Now, if I remember correctly, this isn't actually rooted to C. So to find out, go to Edit, click this arrow, Regions, Detect Pitch Regions. See, if it starts off that is on C, um, um, what's it called? The black key. So, this is where it's sampled to C sharp. So, I, I've got a plugin from Waves. What I like to use um, Sound Shifter. I don't know why it's taken a while, like sound shifter, and then you can just drop it a semitone which puts it back onto C. Because most of my samples are recorded in C for my drums, so I like to keep it all like that. Hold on. Right, so it wants to go to 20. Rename it Crash. Give it a colour. Keep it all pretty. Right, so yeah. That's it. Drop it down a little bit. Drop it down. Cut it off a little bit. There is my crash. What I like to do shorten it a bit so they don't clash with each other. Or oh no, I'll leave it like that. Right. So I only want one at the beginning, so you just chop it. Now I like to use a delay on this and automate the delay. So Echo Boy is probably my favourite delay at the minute. Ping pong. Low cut. Bring it up a bit for feedback. Drop the mix down. Uh, and then I don't want that on all the time. So right click. Create automation clip. So usually around this mark here, 
I like to use the full. And then I'll take the automation clip off. And then put it back on. Automate we call that crash or automate. Keep it colour coded. We're getting somewhere now. Let's see what it sounds like. Sounds good to me. Um, get a snare in, and then we'll call it a day for this one. Get the snare in. Um, Um, give it a pink snare, give it a colour, alt to bring it back in with the drums, assign it to the drum bus, EQ if you didn't already know that, there, hold on a minute, what am I doing? Got a crazy pattern first, right? I like to do mine all the way to nine. Let's see what that sounds like. Right, that's too short. Uh, too long, sorry. So, shorten it. All the way to nine. And then, like I said on my last one, I like to bring the volume up myself to creep it up. Make sure that's assigned to the snare. If you're wondering why I've got all this, by the way, extra, because I did carry on uh, with the recording before, but it crashed on me. Uh, but I will go into it all again, so don't worry. But that'll be on my next video, most probably now. Uh, right, so let's hear it. So it gets louder and louder. That's going to be too loud on there, so I'll bring it down. Um, snare. There. Right, so let's make it a bit more interesting. the sound of that yet. But the EQ isn't right. Let's hear it.
You've just got to keep listening to it over and over again so you like the sounds of it. It's fucking annoying, but that's what you've got to do. the sound of that so let's see what it looks like on the span did you notice the way that shot right up that needs to get sorted so let's take the snare away and see if it is that because I think it is And the crash is too loud. Drop that back down. This is how I like to keep things level. whole drums are louder now so you just bring it down till you find the right level this is why I like to use buses because you can control everything in there so all the leads will go to the bus or the pianos whatever and then if you want to bring them all down you just bring the bus down this is why I like to use it Okay, now I can turn the crash up a little bit now. Okay, I like that. Now the snare, bring that back in. down a bit more now today a bit better I could always bring in a limiter just to turn the volume up a little bit I need to uh, the open hi hat a bit more there. Uh... Yeah, I mean that sounds good enough to me so far. Uh, the snare could probably do with traveling down a bit more to be honest. Yeah, maybe add a sound shifter on the snare to see if it works out any better. Just, 
you just experiment. That's what it's all about. Just experiment. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it does, it does. I mean, it's boring. <laughs> a lot of it, a lot of this is boring. Um, you want to try making it? It's fucking, it's dead boring a lot of the time. But you just persevere with it because you love it. <laughs> Basically, this is what you do: listen to a fucking loop over and over and over again until you find the right sample, or you find you EQ it right, or whatever. And that's all you do. So I've I've basically made this. It's took well about forty minutes, maybe something like that, thirty five minutes. Uh, but I like I like where it's starting now. I've got all the basics there. I've got me claps, me kick, obviously me hats. Listen to them all separately again. And then all together, this is what we've come up with. So yeah, um, that'll be enough for this one, for part one. Um, on part two, I'll be going over my bass and um, probably the piano and stuff like that. Or, well, I'll definitely have to pick what key I'll be working in. Um, and that's how I decide what bass pattern I'll be making. And, um, and then I'll be making my whole chord pattern from the key I've selected. And we just go from there. So, I hope you've learned something. Um, like and subscribe if you can. That would help me. And I'll see you on the next part.